My name's Ashley, and I had a complete hysterectomy and bladder sling. About a decade ago, um, I started having pain. I um, kind of ignored it for a long time. And then I had a weekend where um, I was doubled over in pain in the bathroom for the entire weekend. And what we think happened probably is that a cyst burst. Um, but that really started me kind of on this journey to figure out what is going on inside my body that's, that's causing all of this. Um, probably half my life I have had on and off issues with incontinence. So when I would jump or sneeze or laugh or cough or all of those things that we do, um, sometimes I, I just couldn't control it. And really over the last four or five years, it's got, it had gotten to the point where it was really impacting what I was able to do with my family um, and really creating a situation that sometimes I wouldn't do things in public because of it. I remember a, a time at soccer practice when I generally ran with the girls and I remember making the first lap and um, having an accident. I just could not, I couldn't not. And I, I remember thinking to myself, I'm so glad I have a long sleeve shirt on today so I could take it off and tie it around my waist. When my child says, mom, come jump on the trampoline with me and uh, let me run to the restroom. And so I do, and I go out there and I jump for five minutes and then I'm like, I gotta stop, baby. She was understanding about it, but it was really upsetting that I couldn't share that moment with her because of this stupid issue. <laughs> Kind of coupling both of those things really when it was time for me to have a conversation with my doctor at my annual appointment, I really brought up the possibility of trying to take care of both of these things. I just needed to feel like I could be normal. And so with her support, I got connected to a urologist and they both agreed to do both surgeries at one time. Um, so. It's all gone now. Um, I am just a few days over a month out of surgery and there will never be a day that I regret doing it. I wish I would have known that there were things I could have done earlier. Um, you know, everybody just makes the assumption that that's going to happen when you have a kid. But now that I've, as I've talked to people and know that there are exercises and treatments and different things that, are, that can come before doing surgery. I absolutely would have done those things and, and asked about them and explored those options. You don't have to just accept this as a part of life. Like this does not have to be something that you deal with. I'm glad that now my problems are taken care of, um, but it's also one of those things too that I know that I will have to make sure that I keep all of my muscles strong so that it doesn't get to a point where it was before. There's no doubt I would have sought treatment had I known that there were some things that were available before.